Well, this is the farthest I've ever been into an engine. The tensioner removed. Engine plugs stripped out and destroyed them to get those off. Cam chain, safety wire. And I got these bolts removed, so I guess here we go. This needs to come off. Alright, this is gonna get crazy. Okay, so I got the cam chain off. And I got the two cams, I guess, off. Got them stored right here. So now I gotta pull those buckets up, measure the valve, do the formula. So from what I'm measuring on the shims, this left intake is zero. Can't get anything through. The other ones appear to be in spec. Maybe not this one, right exhaust. I need to work on this one first. And maybe that one too. So I made this little storage box for the shims that I'm about to pull out. And let's hope this goes good. Good thing I put that there. Just trying to be as careful as possible with this thing. Because I thought there was going to be four Dell pins, but it appears there's only two Dell pins. And I'm just going to leave that one there. And I'm going to leave the other one there. So let me get my magnet here. And let me just see what happens when I pull this bucket. Bucket. Now what's going to happen next? What the heck? So the shim is under there. I was hoping it'd be there, but uh, I didn't want it to fall out. So let's put that in the box. So that seemed to go pretty smooth. I don't know, maybe I shouldn't have even pulled that because that's not one that I'm adjusting. <clears throat> Let's pull the next one. Alright, so the shim is in there. Alright. So, got that one. That was the problem, child. Cool! Just gotta grab those last two. And uh, let's add some details by measuring those shims. Hey, what you doing? What you doing? I got some new shims over here. And I'm just hoping they're right. Because I technically bought them for my CRF 450. And I'm just going to make sure they're the right size. I don't know exactly how that would be done, but <clears throat> probably if they're like the same uh, diameter, that's what's important. I don't know, we're gonna find out soon. All right, so I just did some research and these are probably more like 7.48 millimeter. And because I'm seeing like major differences in the kits available, I don't think I can use this kit, which sucks because I just opened it. <clears throat> and I never even freaking used it on my CRF 450. So I don't know, can I use it, can I not? So I just realized that I can't use this set because the circle on the freaking valve thing is not going to fit that. So I got another set. So yeah, that's cool. Because now I got two stickers. I'm also loving this math right here. I'm just nervous about putting the cams back on with all the timing and whatnot. Like counting the teeth and freaking lining up the pin marks. I don't even know how that's going to go, but this is not a chew toy. Hey! All right, time to put these things back in. And uh, three of the four, I made a little smaller shims. And the fourth one, I just kept the original shim. 
for those like right and spec. All right, those went in like super easy. Nothing hard about that. I just uh, checked the mark and I had to like move it a tiny, tiny bit. So yeah, it's, it's aligned now. It's there. It's freaking hard to see. All right, so I put those back in. And this one, pretty snug. This one like slides up and down. I don't know what's up with that. All right, so I'm watching this guy's video. And yeah, I think it's going pretty good here. I keep checking the TDC part and yeah, it keeps freaking moving a little bit, but I just like touch it back, tiny little touch. A uh, very little touch. Need it again. Nine o'clock, twelve o'clock. Pretty sure that's right. And now I'm working on this. But I need to change it to like twelve and three. And that's what I'm working on right now. Alright, so it's pretty much at twelve and twelve. I mean, that's as close as I can get it. That might look like 12.15 or 12.30, but... I don't know, the other one looks like 11.30, so... Depends on if you, like, look at it compared to the ground or the engine. I don't know. All right. So I just got the whole thing back together. Tensioner, cam chain, blah, blah, blah. And then I find this. OMG. Also tough to start and stay running. Yeah. Before.